Hello everyone, I'm the Solo Gamer, and welcome back to Solar Indie Sunday. Today we're going to do a game called Factorio. Now, this game is not on Steam, uh, but it is available to purchase in Alpha States, which is what this is right now, uh, for $13.50 US dollars or 10 uh, euros. So if you want to do that, I'll have the link in the description for the to the website. Um, but other than that, this is a game where you maintain and build yourself a factory, uh, mining the minerals on this alien planet, defending yourself against biters, and basically just making your way up the technological tree, which is really just fun. It, it's a really, really good game, uh, and I'm going to show you it a little bit uh, in this video. So let's go ahead and start a new campaign. Now, oh, not campaign, sorry. Uh, a new game. So we want to start, like, kind of like the sandbox. We have the open world. We can do whatever we want. I think I'm okay with all these settings. You can really go into detail with what you want to see here, but uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. We're going to generate the world. All right, and here we are in the world of Factorio. So we started next to a big lake right here with a copper mine. Uh, copper... Uh, yeah, what would you call that? Copper vein? I mean, it's on the surface. It's not really a vein, but sure. Copper vein. We have iron over here. The four minerals on the surface that you're really going to find are copper, iron... Actually, five. Sorry. Copper, iron, stone, coal, and oil, which I don't think we have any over here, but um, I'll show you that when I jump to the, uh, the future, because... The beginning of the game kind of starts off kind of slow. You have to mine resources for yourself before you go into automation. And once you hit automation and electricity and stuff like that, things really start picking up and you gain lots and lots of resources. Uh, but right now... Oh, there it is. There's oil. Yeah, crude oil. Uh, but right now, I'm going to basically show you guys the basics. So, this is our burner mining drill. It requires coal. So, in the beginning, everything basically requires coal. You're going to need coal for everything. And you know what? I actually don't see any coal around here, which is kind of funny. Actually, there's some up north here. Yep, right in the trees. Gotta run all the way- actually, I don't even know why I'm gonna mine this copper. I'd rather mine some iron so we can get things going. Let's do that. Pick this back up. As you look, it's kind of got like a hot bar at the bottom here. So you can cycle through that by using the number key. And if you want something on the other side, you hold shift and the number key to get that. So one through five, shift one through five, and there you go. There's also a way to improve that with the technology to get more belts on top. So you can switch these with X and stuff like It's really cool. I'll show you when we get into the uh, the other game. But look at this tech tree. There are so many technologies that you can grab. Uh, defense turrets. You have rockets. Uh, what else? You have rocket defense. Power suits. Railways. Cars. I mean, this game is just amazing, and it goes into detail, and it's in alpha. Alpha stages, and it looks like this, and I cannot wait to see the, the progress of this game, because it's going to be amazing. It really will. So let's mine up some of these, use our... Our... What are you... I don't know what he's using there, like a metal pole, just to grab some of these. Actually, that's going to take forever. Hang on. Can I get myself an axe? Yeah, okay, there we go. Grab an axe. Oh yeah, much, much better. That was going to take forever to just to mine up some coal. <laughs> Alright, we'll get like three, and then I'm going to show you guys this. Alright, so basically the way it works is you place the mine on top of the uh, the vein or whatever you'd call this, the surface minerals. Put the coal inside, or if you have electricity at that point, then you just hook it up to the uh, network, and it's going to start mining for you. Um, now, if we can chop down... Let's chop down this tree. Alright, let's make ourselves a chest. There we go, put that right in front. Now it's going to start putting it in here. So we can basically keep feeding this, keep mining up ourselves some coal, feed it right in. Now you could do this with inserters and belts as well. So you can mine the coal, okay, then have an inserter right here that puts it inside of here so that you could maintain this with coal. I'm not going to get that in depth with the automation right now because I'm going to show you guys what it's like in the other, you know, the other game that I've spent a long time in, just free playing. It's really, really fun to do. Now, I don't think there's anything else I really have to show you here. Um, well, I can show you the gun. You can shoot your gun by holding either space on an enemy or holding C when you have something locked. You can even shoot your own mine if you want to. Well, not if you want to. Sometimes you do it on accident. Whoops. I accidentally hit you. <laughs> and of course, all that's over here. We have the, uh, the magazines and the gun type as well. All right, let's jump out to the future and see what this looks like with fully automated electricity, railways, stuff like that. Alright, here we are. So, I have to explain a little bit before we go here. Um, I did not 
Obviously, I started the same way as you saw the last time. I did nothing out of the ordinary, it's just I built up towards this, and it looks really elaborate, but really, if you, if you knew what went into it, it's not that bad. Um, now I'm gonna hit Alt to show you guys what resources these, uh, these are working on. So you can see that water is being piped through these, uh, well, these pipes. Oils over here, we have, uh, heavy oil, light oil, we also have sulfur, petroleum, what is that, sulfuric acid, I think that's lubricant, yep. Yeah, so there's just a, a lot of things that you can do with the automation. Now, of course, you have electricity, and I didn't always have this. I had to use coal for everything. However, now that I have electricity, things will go without having to feed anything, so they'll go indefinitely. So basically, you can see these lines are basically full with coal. And you click on that, it doesn't require coal or anything, it just requires electricity, obviously enough. Um, so these will keep going until the, uh, the expected resources are done, which are right over here. As you can see, so 11k... 13k and of course it's not going that fast because it's only feeding the boilers because I've, I've weaned myself off of getting coal so the only things that are using coal right now are these burners which are producing um, electricity obviously enough you know, steam engines what else do we have we have a copper mine down here which is basically picking up the copper the raw copper putting it into these furnaces by these inserters here that are just like I said electricity is what we're on right now Smelting it into copper plates and then placing it on this belt, which goes up into my science factories. Now, I know a lot of this is going to sound confusing, but if you play this for long enough, you'll understand. So basically, the way you get technology is you need to build these science buildings, and you need to fill them with red, green, and blue beakers, depending on which technology you have or you're going for. So obviously, in the beginning, it's going to start with red. Red are the first things that you need to build, and let's see here... We'll hit E to open up the crafting menu, and where are we for... Okay, so red requires one copper plate and one iron wheel. So you can't just have iron wheels in the belt because you need an assembler, and the assemblers will create things for you. So as you can see, I've got an assembler for the wheels right there. So iron's coming up from the mine, which is way up there. Coming down here, and it's being smelted into... Uh, what are these called? Iron plates? Yes, they're smelted into iron plates, and then those iron plates are being put into the assembler, which is assembling them into iron wheels, which is being dropped into the red, um, red beaker science pack, which is then being fed through this line. All the oh, I got a blue in there for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, psh, okay, uh, which is being fed into these science labs. And that's what is basically producing your resources. Now, the science labs work kind of interestingly, so they drop the beakers in with the inserters, and then it kind of takes a while for that certain, uh, I don't know what you call it, certain segment to be researched. So as you can see, rocketry is up here. Now, once we hit this, it'll only jump up like a little bit. And here we go. Eh. Exactly, yeah, but it does... It, it will go fast once you have a certain amount of things. I only did one of each, so one red, one blue, one green. Uh, so, I mean, technically you can have three reds, three green. It, it just, it's insane what you could do with this game, and I've, I've only hit the surface of it, really. Um, in fact, my train network doesn't really go anywhere. I just built it so I could show you guys it. But this is my oil. Oil can be turned into plastic. It can also go in to be um, refined into petroleum, which is what we're using here to make the sulfur. Which, in turn, makes the sulfuric acid, which, in turn, makes batteries, which we need for, think, blue. Yeah, blue science pack. I know this is very, very confusing, but like I said, it doesn't start off this confusing. You work your way up, and you learn things as you go. It's a really, really amazing game, and I urge you all to come and check this out. Now, like I said before, there are defenses, and the defenses are there for biters. And biters are the alien native race that, you know... You came down to this planet, you're invading them by producing lots of pollution, and you can see the pollution here as red. I'll open up the world map. There you go. So all of the uh, the red that you can see on the map is the pollution that we're spreading, and we're spreading a lot of it. Um, these red little blotches here are the alien bases, and if the pollution gets close enough to that alien base, they will start attacking you. So it's good to build walls and defenses, as you can see here. I've got little entrances with pockets of laser turrets and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, so it just gets really in-depth. Now, I'm going to ride the train just for fun, and then I'm going to show you my car as well. We'll go and check out a biter colony or something. The train requires coal, so I have a little feeder right here. This really isn't set up um, fully yet, but I wanted to put it in this so that I could show you guys 
um, that you basically have no limits to this game. You can go all over the, the map if you want to, and you can automate a train as well. So you'd have the train go to a certain station, it would stop up here, say you have things being fed into the cargo bays, it would feed them into the cargo bays, then it would come back home, and as you come back home, it'll stop right here at this train station. It'll stop right here. Stop! Stop! No, don't, don't feed the coal in there. <laughs> it'll stop at this train station, and at this train station, you might have it like an offloader. So you'd offload all the goods from the train, put it into chests or something, or put it into a factory type of deal, and, well, go that way. So, yeah, this is the train that I have set up. It's just a little loop-de-loop, -loop, but I, well, I figured I, I'd show you guys something. Oh, we are being attacked by biters. However, I won't be able to get over there in time to show you because they're probably already dead. So we'll bring this train back into the train station. We'll get in my car, and we will check things out. No, don't feed it in there. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, you know what? Let's just leave it like that. Just get out. All right, my car is right over here. We're going to go ahead, hit five, place it down. This requires some coal, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay. So we'll load the coal in there, and we'll start driving. Where is there an entrance that I can... Actually, I can leave over this way. We come up this entrance. Now, you can't actually damage things using the car, so it's kind of kind of iffy on driving. I mean, the driving's fine. You can drive easily. However, you just got to watch out you don't hit anything important. Um, where do I want to go? I want to go look at a hive. Well, we can go check out this one over here by the ocean. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go that way. I've actually never been over there. Ooh. There's tons of trees. In my of course, I'm leaving at, at nighttime now. It's probably not a good idea. Let's go through here. Go over to the ocean first before we take a right turn because there's just way too many trees. In fact, you know what? I think I might wait till the daytime anyways. Just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright, now it is just about daytime. However, I am getting antsy. Now, I know going into this... See, there's a medium biter right there. That's the next step up from uh, these small biters. Uh, I know that I'm going to get myself killed here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, Sure, do basic... I don't know. I'm probably not going to save this, so just do something. Yeah, I'm not going to save this, I just because I know I'm going to die. Um, I'm just going to do this for fun. Nice way to go out of this uh, this little video here is to just die, right? Alright, so let's put up our defenses. This guy is a little drone. Now, you can't upgrade them and such. I have um, myself a grenade as well. I only have three of them. Oh, okay, now he is going to help me, but I don't know if it'll be... Oh! Wow, I actually uh, did a lot better than I thought there. Okay, I have no more grenades, so I'm basically running off my power armor's defenses if they hit me, which they are. Oh, this is not good! This is not good! Oh, no, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, come on, kill him! Kill him! Now, they are respawning right now, so it's I'm not really making a, a good push. Um, but they're not really doing much. I mean, they got through my defenses, but... I'm actually surprised that I did this well here. Huh. Now, when you... Oh! No! I lost ammo. I lost... Q! Shoot them! Alright, that's not working. That's not working. Oh, I'm gonna die. Shoot. Nope, nope, nope. Oh! <laughs> I ran out of armor-piercing rounds there, but, uh, yeah. So this is Factorio. It is fantastic, and uh, I definitely urge you guys to go and check it out. You can try the demo. There is a demo that you can try if you don't want to buy it right away. Um, and like I said before, this game, if you do choose to buy it, is 10 euros or $13.50. I am, I'm really loving this game, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.